Good day, everyone. Welcome to this Wednesday edition of the Vice Squad. I'm Ryan, and today we're going to tie Wonder Woman in keeping with our DC Comics theme. Before that, uh, I would like to uh, thank the sponsors of Anna, Anna Drama Fly Company and Fly Life Co. If you head on over to fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian residents and .net for US and international friends, you can find all your gear, tools, supplies, everything that they sell, all the wonderful things that we use on the Vice Squad segments, uh, and you'll find them on the um, specialty slash sponsors tab on the mobile edition. It's on the left-hand side on the laptop or uh, desktop edition or version, whatever. It's uh, a lot easier to find. Anyway, back to today's tie. This is the Wonder Woman Coronamid Midge, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the new uh, new version of Wonder Woman, they, they switched her from having a red like a bright red and royal blue outfit to having sort of a, it's a real muted, almost maroon color and real smoky slate uh, blue. So uh, it was uh, it was a no brainer once we kind of talked it through and kind of figured it out. And uh, if everybody can hear that, but my dog is coming to say hi. I can hear him click clacking on the floor. Maybe he'll be quiet. At any rate, this is a size 16 curved nymph hook with a 7 64ths gold tungsten bead. She does wear a gold crown. We're gonna need some wine colored UTC, 70 denier. If you have heavier thread, not a big deal. You're just gonna use fewer wraps. Or you're gonna have a really, really fat coronavid. And Wonder Woman, she's quite slim, so let's use 70 if you can. At any rate, we're gonna wind that down to just before where the bend starts, just past the, the barb. And our first rib, I'm gonna double rib this uh, fly. So what I'm gonna do is the, the rib that I'm gonna wrap first, which will be the gold rib, I'm going to tie in first because you want the just the way it wraps you want the the second rib to be tied in second if that makes sense you'll see so I'm going to tie that in just down the hook shank following the hook shank just so it sort of maintains that nice profile And I'll wind all the way back up, and then I'm going to wind all the way back down. But before I do that, I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise so it's nice and flat. With UTC, you can uncord it, and that'll help keep that slim profile down at the bottom. All right, now we'll tie in our second rib, which is called Gunmetal Blue, I believe it's called, in size brassy. The gold is extra small. And I want to tie that in and follow it up underneath that gold wire all the way up. Here we go. Once we have that tied in, all I'm going to do now is build a taper from bottom end up to the top, just so that I can meet up with the same dimension as the bead. So Rick will probably kick this into fast forward here for us. Once you've built your taper and you're happy with it, We'll start with our wire rib. So when I wrap this, the lower I am in the fly, the tighter or closer together, I'm gonna put those wraps. And as we move up, we'll just slowly make them a little bit wider as we go. 
as in where the acronym, the spacing in its ribs are wider the closer it gets up to the head. And grab that and tie it off. And then we'll just helicopter that out of there. Now the blue, I'm gonna follow on the bottom side of my gold rib. to the top and we'll do the same. Right, spin that out of there. Now we'll just use our whip finish tool here. What you want to try not to do is, is kind of bulk that up too badly. Try to stay off the bead. Sometimes it can be tough, but personally, I think it looks better if you do. <clears throat> All right. So that, at that point, is essentially finished. Now, I'm going to use some bone dry on it. I like to do that on all the chronomets and midges that I tie just to helps keep the wire in place and uh, definitely helps with a bit of durability and it gives them a little bit of shimmer and sheen. So we'll just use some bone dry and just a light coat. Don't want to go too, too heavy with it. All right, we'll cure that up. As I said off the top, uh, if you're interested in having a look at our sponsor's gear, which is Anna Drums Fly Company and Fly Life Co., you can head on over to fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian residents and .net for American and international friends and find all their gear under the specialty slash sponsors tab. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more and you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the bell beside it and you'll catch all our upcoming content which is all sorts of content going on uh every week with uh, adam and bryce as well um tie in on their their respected days check them out they're both fabulous tires fantastic dudes at any rate until next week everyone thanks for watching and take care